Oh boy. Scientists predict a volcanic eruption that is likely to be one of the most destructive in the history of our species. There's a 1 in 6 chance of it happening in this century, and it could seriously change the climate even more and put millions of lives in danger. Back in January 2022, the Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai volcano erupted in the South Pacific Ocean, creating a huge explosion. It sent tsunamis all the way to Japan, North America, and South America. Tonga itself was hit hard, with damage costing nearly 20% of the country's entire economy. Now, researchers at the Niels Bohr Institute in Copenhagen have studied ice samples from Greenland and Antarctica, and their findings are worrying, predicting potential global volcanic disaster. They say there's a real chance of a much bigger eruption, a whopping 10 to 100 times larger than Tonga's. In the past, eruptions this size used to change the climate and even cause civilizations to collapse. Despite future volcanic eruption risks, Experts say the world isn't prepared at all. Michael Cassidy, a volcanologist from the University of Birmingham, warns that no sufficient effort is made to handle a disaster like this. He says that NASA and other space agencies spend billions on asteroid defense. At the same time, a volcanic supereruption is way more likely than an asteroid impact. And right now, there's no global plan for dealing with a massive eruption, even though it's likely to be far more destructive. The last magnitude 7 eruption happened in 1815 at Mount Tambora in Indonesia. Then, thousands of people lost their lives in just a few days. The disaster also disrupted weather and caused food shortages worldwide, affecting millions. That eruption was the biggest in recorded history. It blasted a massive cloud of particles into the sky. Those particles blocked sunlight, cooled the planet, and caused worldwide chaos. The year after the eruption became known as the year without a summer. Temperatures plummeted, crops failed, famine spread, and a cholera pandemic broke out, leading to tens of thousands of lost lives. A shocking fact, the eruption may have even inspired Mary Shelley to write Frankenstein while stuck indoors during the unusually cold summer of 1816 in Switzerland. Now since then, many volcanoes have erupted, but none have matched Tambora's scale. Now, over 200 years later, scientists warn that there's a new supervolcano threat. Another massive eruption could be on the way, and the world might not be ready for it. So while scientists seriously discuss the likelihood of the next volcanic eruption, experts are calling for urgent action to prepare before it's too late. So the thing is, a massive volcanic eruption today could be even more devastating than the year without a summer. Unlike back then, we're already dealing with all kinds of weather changes and a more fragile global system, which could make the effects even worse. Dr. Michael Rampino, a geological scientist, warns that the world is more unstable now, and it means that a modern-day mega-eruption could have even more severe consequences. But this time, greenhouse gases from fossil fuels may make the aftermath of such an eruption even colder instead of warmer. So we're talking about volcanic activity endangering humanity. Dr. Thomas Aubrey, a volcanologist, found that in a hotter, more turbulent atmosphere, the sulfur dioxide gas released by a volcanic eruption would spread faster and farther than in the past. This gas forms sulfate aerosols which reflect sunlight and cause global cooling. Because these tiny particles would be more evenly distributed, they'd have a stronger cooling effect than in 1815. Another atmospheric scientist at Cambridge explains that the size of these airborne particles matters. It affects how they absorb sunlight. And in a future warmer climate, an eruption could make the surface cooling stronger by 15%. At the same time, there are still many unknowns. Scientists from the University of Geneva say that we're only beginning to understand the full impacts of such an event. It's also difficult to precisely estimate future volcanic eruption risks, since we have very little data on older eruptions. So, to understand past volcanic activity, researchers analyze ice cores from Greenland and Antarctica, as well as ancient tree rings. Those act as historical records of weather changes. These measurements suggest that several eruptions in the past few thousand years temporarily cooled the planet by about 2 to 2.5 degrees Fahrenheit.
One of the most catastrophic examples is the 1257 Somalis eruption in Indonesia, which was so powerful that it likely triggered the Little Ice Age. It was a period of global cooling that lasted for hundreds of years. More recently, the 1991 Mount Pinatubo eruption in the Philippines slightly cooled Earth for a few years. Because this eruption happened in the satellite era, scientists were able to measure exactly how much sulfur dioxide was released and how it affected the atmosphere. But even with modern tools like satellites and seismic instruments, scientists still have difficult times forecasting the next big volcanic eruption. Luckily, even though we can't predict the exact timing, we can study worst-case scenarios to help authorities prepare. This includes creating evacuation plans and stockpiling food in case of global crop failures caused by volcanic cooling. The changes in weather patterns might make volcanoes more active. Melting glaciers can reduce pressure on underground magma, which will increase the chances of an eruption. Plus, more extreme rainfall, which is becoming more and more common, can seep into volcanic cracks and cause powerful steam-driven explosions. It can affect both active and dormant volcanoes. Because of these risks, researchers are now mapping volcanoes that are the most vulnerable to climate change. Their studies show that the highest supervolcano threat comes from such areas as Iceland, Chile, and Indonesia. Those are places where glaciers are melting quickly or rainfall is increasing dramatically. A 2022 study found that 716 volcanoes worldwide – that's about 58% of all known active above-ground volcanoes – could be triggered by extreme rainfall, increasing the likelihood of another mini-ice age. Now let's get back to that Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai eruption that occurred on January 15, 2022. Scientists have confirmed that it created the highest plume ever recorded. The volcano, located underwater in the South Pacific, sent an ash cloud 187,000 feet high – that's higher than any previously recorded eruption. What makes this eruption even more remarkable is that it was the first to ever reach the mesosphere. It's the third layer of Earth's atmosphere. The mesosphere begins at about 160,000 feet above Earth, where meteors start burning up and creating shooting stars. To measure the plume's height, Researchers from the University of Oxford and RAL Space used data from three geostationary weather satellites. Before this, the record for the highest volcanic plume was held by Mount Pinatubo's 1991 eruption in the Philippines, which reached 131,000 feet high. Interestingly, this kind of measurement was only possible thanks to modern satellite technology, and a decade ago, no one would have been able to do this. Another volcano we should mention, in relation to a potential global volcanic disaster, is located on Iceland's Reykjanes Peninsula. Its latest eruption happened in November of 2024, leading to evacuations in nearby areas. The eruption began just after 11 p.m. with little warning. The volcano released orange lava from a nearly two-mile-long fissure. Authorities ordered evacuations for about 50 homes and guests staying at the Blue Lagoon Spa Resort, a popular tourist destination southwest of Reykjavik. While air travel was not affected, officials still warned of potentially dangerous gas emissions spreading across parts of the peninsula, including the nearby town of Grindavik. Grindavik, home to 3,800 residents, has repeatedly witnessed volcanic activity and past eruptions even damaged its infrastructure and forced evacuations. For example, in August 2024, a two-and-a-half-mile-long crack opened at the Sunthun Kangigar crater near Grindavik. It led authorities declaring a state of emergency as lava flowed in multiple directions. Fortunately, Iceland's meteorological office reported that the latest eruption was significantly smaller than the one in August. Geophysics experts conducted aerial surveys and figured out that the situation appeared less intense than the previous eruptions. These days, Grindavik is not at risk, but the possibility of further developments cannot be ruled out. Scientists predict more volcanic eruptions. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.